All right, what's up everybody? Today we're going to be building a Facebook ad campaign from scratch, but instead of doing it in ads manager, we're going to be doing it in Upex. Now we're gonna be doing it in Upex because we built it this one time and then forever in the future, our clients can use it in just three clicks. So let's jump into the build. First things first, so this is Upplex. The tab that we're building in today is the My Templates. Now, My Templates is where all of your agency's ad templates are located, all right? If you go to My Templates, you're gonna see all of your categories, everything catalog and organized here. Now, you can take uh, templates and offers and ads from our template library, which is here, okay? You can use any of these, these are for your use, but as you select them, they're going to pour over to your my templates tab. But for this example, we're actually gonna build a campaign from scratch by clicking create template. All right, so let's jump into it. Before we get too far into this, I wanna show you the actual uh, campaign. There I am right there, handsome fella. <laughs> the actual campaign we're going to be building. So uh, the campaign we're gonna be building is this here. Okay, the dimensions of our video ad, which is what we're gonna build is 1080 by 1080. Now the question, the actual build process is gonna ask for specific things. So if you're newer, you're not sure what they're asking for, this is what a typical ad looks like. This is where it says body copy, it's referring to this section here. Headline, it's referring to the headline here. And link description refers to the subtext under the headline. Now for our example today, we're going to be building this campaign here. It's an MLS laser campaign. We'll go ahead and copy the headline because that's one of the first things it's gonna ask us for. So let's jump back over to Upex and build this thing. All right. All right, first things first, we're gonna name it so we can find it in the future. We're gonna call it MLS laser me offer. All right, uh, leave it enabled. This makes it so your actual end customers can see it. If you don't want them to see it, if you're working on it, or something like that, then just leave it. Uh, you can uncheck that box, but we want our customers to see this. Okay, we wanna organize this. Now, as you set up your templates, this is really easy to do. Basically, we, you want your customers to find your ads as quickly as possible. The more ads you get, you know, the more you're gonna need to, uh, to stay organized. So here we have chiropractic clinics, laser treatments. We're gonna go ahead and put it there. Campaign structures. Uh, for this video, we're just going to leave it with the defaults because they're built out, they're proven to work. Um, one ad set with multiple ads. All right, placement. We also have advanced. We'll do this another day, but automatic placements. You also can do, if you know it, if you're experienced in uh, Facebook ads, you can do manual placement as well. But we're going to leave it to uh, you know automatic placements. And then special ad categories. So for this example, you don't need any special ad categories because it's not housing, credit, employment, or election uh, issues. So that is the setup of the template. Now let's build the actual ad itself. So to do that, I'm just gonna paste over the headline. Uh, this was limited to its first 20. And then we're gonna go over and grab the actual ad text from our Google Doc here. All right. And then we will paste it here. All right, everything looks good. Clean up my spaces there. All right, that all looks good. All right, so I've got my headline, my link description, and my body copy. All right, now to the media. Now for this example, I wanted to do um, video because I feel like the image is very straightforward. But when we do a video, we need to upload two things. We need to upload the video itself and then a thumbnail of that video. So here we have the video where it goes. All right, desktop and I have my new solutions video. And then I have my JPEG, which you can do a PNG as well. All right. Very good, so that's all uploaded. Now, completion info. Here's what's really cool about Upex. By finishing this tab here forever in the future, our customers can choose to do a landing page. It's already dialed in, ready to do that. We, it builds it automatically. You can, put a, you can turn this into a uh, messenger campaign as well. So we'll just use the knee pain is no fun. It would then open up a messenger campaign, okay? But for purposes of this example, 
we're going to go to lead form. Now, before we go through these steps, let's jump back over to our doc here so we can see what it is that we're building. Um, now, there's been questions I've had about lead forms. What are they? How do they work? Lead forms are awesome. They're working incredibly well right now. This keeps the uh, prospect on Facebook and, and just gets leads like crazy. But you do want to know what the different things are so I'll make this document available for you so you can reference back to it as you're building your first template. But um, if you ask questions, those are going to appear first, okay? Once you've answered the questions, they will then go to uh, greeting title, greeting body. This example actually doesn't have a greeting body. And then if you want to ask for additional info, which again, I'll show you here in a second, uh, it would show up below. And then we don't want any, you know, opt-ins where people are not actually opting in. So this uh, puts Facebook's privacy policy out there, all right? And then the completion, which is effectively kind of like a thank you page, all right? So that's what we're actually building. And again, I have all of the text here. So I'm gonna grab the greeting title, but let's jump back over to Apex. So the form type, first things first. Um, it defaults to more volume. If you want higher intent, basically it's a confirmation step that they have to, uh, that the customer has to uh, click just to make sure that they are in fact opting in. So if you're getting feedback from people like, I, the lead says that they didn't remember opting in, put higher intent, but default to more volume, that should be good. Um, background image, we're gonna go ahead and use the image from the ad. So basically what this means is whatever image or video you have that is in the ad, they click it and it just ascends up and then it reveals the uh, the actual lead form. You can use a custom uploaded image, but again, default, this works awesome. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then greeting, recommend. So this is where we get into our ad copy. All right, so there's our headline. Let's grab the, get me out of the way here. I'm gonna grab the body. Put that there, review it. Oh, got a bit of white space when it came over. Other than that, looks good. Questions. All right, so if you remember, there was um, two things in the lead form that I pointed out. One, the description. So the description, let's go ahead and grab that. The description goes here. Okay, so by default, it's going to ask for name, phone number, and email. If you want to, you can ask for additional things like city, street address, you know, depending on what niche you're in, you can do that. We're gonna leave these open, but then we can ask a question. Um, okay, we're gonna ask a simple short question. Do you, have any, uh, do you have any questions before our call? All right, we can add as many questions as we want. One is good. Privacy, all right, so uh, the privacy Disclaimer, we've got that over on our document over here. Title, okay. All right, uh, privacy policy URL, we're gonna default to Facebook's default one, privacy policy, and then completion. So completion is kind of like the thank you page. It tells them what to do after they have opted in, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do description. And then uh, the call to action is view website. Now targeting, targeting is the last stage and then we are good to go. So uh, when we're doing local targeting, the idea is if our ads are good enough, if we target by psychographics, then when we target by the platform, we target by demographics. So we do both minimum age. Uh, if we're doing knee pain, we're probably 35 and then max age. Okay, all languages, default radius is 10 miles, and then all the detailed stuff we're going to keep. So we're gonna save our template. All right, and here it is. So let's go ahead and peruse through, make sure everything is good. It all looks good. This gives you a snapshot of all the stuff you built. If you see anything you need editing, it's pretty easy to edit. And there's our image. Now I wanna show you real quick how to add and remove. This is one last thing I wanna show you. Um, we can go ahead and add in the same video twice. That's fine. We need the video. And again, we need the thumbnail. Okay. Now we'll add this media and bada bing, bada boom. We should go down here. 
and there should be two of the same offer. Awesome. That is how you build a template in Upex. Now, again, the cool thing about this is once you go to my templates, you want to see this thing? It is in chiropractic clinics. It is in laser treatments. And then it is right here in MLS Laser Me Offer. So, guys, that is how you build a template in Upex. And it's amazing. Stop using Ads Manager. It takes way too much time. Do this instead. Thank you.